That takes us to our moment of Braben. Every week we pull a clip of David Braben from years ago. We listen to what he had to say and look at it through the viewpoint of what we're dealing with now in the game. So without further ado, uh, please enjoy this clip of him back from develop from like, I think it was like five or six years ago. No, no, no. This was from eight years ago. Uh, check this out and then we're going to talk about it. So we're in the expo and uh, look who I've just bumped into, it's David Braben. Um, David, so how has your development been this year? Oh, good fun. i um, just finished giving a talk, um, but as always, you bump into so many people at Develop and have ad hoc, ad hoc discussions, it's, uh, it's great fun. So your talk this year? Uh, it was Redefining Alpha. It's looking at the process of game development in the new era where we can um, prioritize things the way that makes sense to the to the new you know the developing in public essentially you know where you you, you, you it, it, it's a nice phrase I like that developing yeah. in public yes it, it's funny we're sort of it's the way we sort of we're developing a game and shipping it as we develop it so there are some interesting different priorities there and so uh, Obviously, you're going to go through the whole thing, but pick out one of the things that you highlighted in your talk as a, as a, as a new trend or new thing to think about. Um, I, I think it's trying to make sure what you put out is, is very focused and that you communicate very strongly with the people who are engaging with the game. That it's a two-way process, that they feel that they're being listened to as well. And I think certainly from, from my side, it's, it's, been, it's been enjoyable and it's been really positive, really, really useful. Hopefully it has for the backers as well. And yes, because of course the game is a Kickstarter game, so it's been quite a 12 months for you, hasn't it? So you big Kickstarter, floated the company... And I understand there's some big things in your personal life as well. That's right. I am uh, getting married to my fiance this month, which is a big moment in my life. And uh, so, uh, yes, it's an amazing year. And, of course, uh, the release of Elite Dangerous. And so just talk me through the whole Kickstarter process. How, is it, how has that been for you? And uh, obviously you're talking today about the alpha and in terms of the communication and what you need to do. Um, how has it been different overall to development of games previously and is it something that you would like to do again uh, yes we would very much like to do it again I mean the, the, the way it's different really is um, you know that we're we're developing with like-minded individuals you know when you're um, working with a, a, a publisher for the for, for sound reasons um, you know the, the people involved are all um, you know they're looking at it with sort of different agendas you're writing for an imagined audience and everyone is sort of second guessing what they might like and so the, the, there are various competing things one of the things is you end up trying to simplify things in my view often too much um, you know the, the audiences aren't stupid but sometimes with focus tests on a small period of time it can people can you know it, it, it can give a wrong impression and I think the other thing is that the, the, this the there is a concept of a, a vertical slice which has always frustrated me in game development and uh, we don't have to do that when we're developing in public and that is wonderful. The concept of vertical slice, I was trying to figure it out and I've got a few ideas in my head but elaborate on that one. Well it's one of these slightly naff terms, the theory is imagine a cake with lots of layers, if you slice through the layers you get a little bit of each layer so you have an idea of how the game would feel. Um, one of the problems is uh, it means you end up prioritising things that are really not a risk, they're not difficult to do, but often they're quite expensive, like generating artwork and all that sort of thing. Um, whereas if you have a very focused approach on the risks in order, which is essentially what we've been doing with the Elite Dangerous game, where we've been nailing the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay, the network play and so on, um, you actually, not only do you de-risk the project, you, but you mean it, it means it's built on very sound foundations. You know, you're building things out one by one, rather than a little bit of everything, which isn't quite as high quality as you'd like. So there you have David Braben telling you that vertical slices are a bit naff, uh, which for Americans, it's basically saying it's kind of shit. And yet, basically, our alpha was a vertical slice. Well, three of them. Uh, and we got the result that we got. Um, I, I, I love seeing a younger, sort of excited David Braben there, uh, who's just on the launch of Elite Dangerous, the original, full of ideals, full of uh, excitement and energy for what's to come, and lots and lots of possibilities. But... Uh, Looking at it through the prism of Odyssey, I think 
kind of puts us in a very, very different uh, space. Who wants to go first and comment on this? I'll say I <laughs> miss the David Braben F def. Mm. It doesn't. F- I, I I think this is discussed more often, but. How how involved is he still with the development? How is he making choices? It's it doesn't feel like it. I agree. Boss lady. And I love him. Uh yeah. I, I meant David Braven, sorry. I love David Braven. I get you. Boss lady. I I guess I'm speechless. It's one of those things where it, it's just it's so hard to watch that version of where things started right now because you know I, it's beautiful to see how excited he was and how you know I'm just picturing right now and this may be totally different but I'm not picturing that same level of like oh, this is amazing and and you know I'm so excited about where we are and how we're re we're pioneering how alphas are done and they're open and they're in the public and everybody's involved and obviously that's not you know those ideals once they they hit the, the, the tires hit the road. You don't always get those ideals, but it's, it's kind of sad. And it's also inspiring that, you know, that was the vision that could be the vision and just seeing how excited he was then. And, you know, I, I just would love to see that again. I'd love to see him that excited about what's going on with elite these days. Wait a second. Here's a thought boss lady. He was talking so excitedly about how much fun it is to be developing in public, like shipping as you develop. If you look at it from a certain direction and squint, that's what we've got now. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, yeah, it kind of is. It is, huh? Tweet. Yeah, that's exactly what we have right now. They're, they, they released an alpha, quote unquote, kind of, sort of, and they're developing it as it goes. But the one thing that kind of struck me was audiences aren't dumb. Our customer base is not dumb, he said. But the way they talk to us and the way they have talked to us for the last few years, they think we are. Or they, they sound like they think we are anyways. They don't talk to us like adults. Tuesday was maybe the first time that they did that when they said no ship interiors, no cross play. Okay, at least we know. Uh, am I happy about it? No, but at least you told me something. But mm. you didn't tell me where we are going instead but it's just i agree i wish we could get david braben more involved and, and don't get me wrong he I, th- I believe he was somewhat involved i mean in his early talks he also talked about walking around stations and getting out on at settlements and stuff and and we are now getting that so this is still part of his vision odyssey is it's not polished and it needs to be polished it's a lot still, mm. but it's still part of Braben's original vision. But my fear is the future. We, there's a new game director involved that's that's been here for a couple of years, and I'm I, I don't know that I have the same faith in him that I had in. Well, I know I don't have the same faith in him that I had in David Braben. 